What are you doing? What? I thought you were going to go to your room, Mommy. I was going to give you a kiss. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to give you another kiss. I thought it was, th those kisses are dangerous. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Are you trying to kill me or what? Your love is wrong. <laughs> my head. Okay. That's, okay. No more kisses. Uh uh. My kisses is too rough. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Calm down. I'm done. Calm down. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's it for me. Okay. I love you too. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> what I wanted to talk to you about today was just this feeling of overwhelm and this happens a lot to new graduates to people who are switching careers to people who are learning about business analysis for the first time and they do these courses they get these certifications they talk to all these gurus they watch all these videos including mine and they feel like they know something or they think they do and then they learn all this stuff, they spend all this money in these courses, and then they open a job description, a job post, and they read what the employers are looking for, and they're like, oh my God, I can't do this. I don't know this. I don't feel like I could apply for this job. And a series of those things happen, and they end up with the conclusion that they don't know anything. Somebody wrote me and said, I, I feel like I know a lot of things, but at the same time, I feel like I don't know anything. Like, I have overwhelm. I have information overload. I have so much information. I don't know how to apply any of it. And I don't know if I can. And I don't feel confident. And this is a real problem. And I understand it. I completely, I get it. <laughs> Believe me, if there's anybody else on the internet that you've listened to, Carolise gets it. Because I was like that when I first graduated college when i got my bachelor's degree i was happy i was like yes i have my degree i'm gonna go out there and do stuff i'm you know i'm gonna make a change and then i saw the job descriptions and i was like i don't i don't even know what thing to apply for with the knowledge that i have okay i have this degree what do i do with it where do i go what's the job i'm supposed to be doing i felt ill prepared and i feel like our education system is doing that to us I feel like we're learning things to pass exams or even if we understand how they apply we don't actually apply them in a real world sense and we don't feel like we are like adept we don't feel like we know things enough to feel confident to apply for jobs it's like we're not being taught how to actually work we're taught how to pass an exam or how to it's like it's academia versus practicality right? and it's always been the problem where you go to school and you learn all these things and you have all this book learning and when they ask you to apply some of it, you're just like stuck. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> the examples they give you in school, the, the way they explain things to you is not, is not representative of the real world because they give it to you in a confined way. There's limits, there's information given to you for you to solve, but in the real world, nothing is given to you not even the problem you don't even know what you're supposed to solve for sometimes right you don't even know what the real problem is so we're very very much ill-equipped for the working world and how do we overcome that and that's why you feel like you don't know anything but you do know things you just don't know how to apply them right now so um in my course that's coming up and by the way, if you haven't yet done so, please go to carolise.com. It'll pop up and ask you to join my waiting list for my, my course. I would suggest you join it. It doesn't cost you anything. Just join the list. And that way you become a part of the, 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 the tribe, right? And also we'll get information when the course is ready and also other information I want to share with you. So that's great for you to do. That'll be helpful for you, believe me. 
But, you know, in that course, I hope to help people to overcome this problem, right? Of feeling inept, feeling like you don't, you're not confident to apply for a job. I'm going to help you by giving you practical, real world examples that you can work on yourself so you can feel confident on your own. Like, I'm not going to, I can't give you confidence. You have to get that by yourself. But you get that when you have the information and you can apply it to something um, practical. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that course to be ready, I would suggest that you do some case studies. I do have some case studies on my website at different levels of business analysis. Um, some are more complicated than others, so I suggest you pick a starter level or a <laughs> um, beginner's level and do those where you can start applying what you know. And once you start applying what you know, you start building that confidence. Because you do know stuff. You feel like you don't know anything, that's because the information is scattered all over, right? You, you get all of this stuff and you never really put it together. But once you get an opportunity to put it together, I, be, I believe in all my heart that you will start to feel like, yes, I know this, I can do this, right? You, you get there. It's just, you need a problem to solve. And I'm, I'm glad to provide you with the problems. So go to the website, find the case studies and try to solve them. Now it doesn't have the answers, so you're not really sure if what you're coming up with is the right thing, but this is a part of the challenge. You need to, you know, get into the mindset, start thinking about things like this. And maybe you could send them to me when you're finished and maybe I'll review some of them in a video or two. I'm not promising to be able to review everybody's stuff because I have a lot of things in the fire right now. Um, but at least it gets you thinking, right? And uh, we'll figure out how we can look at the answers at another time. But you need this case study. You need to apply what you've learned. There's also some, there's also some case studies um, on the IIBA website. You can check those out as well. See if those are helpful to you. But definitely go to carolis.com. Look at the case studies I've put up there. They're very practical. Very tactical. Very, you know, real world. There's no fluff here. This is things that are really happening. So if you want that kind of case study, this is where you go to get it. So I hope that will be helpful to you. I really do because I want you to excel. I want you to learn. I want you to, to grow. I want you to feel confident. I want you to go out there and get the job and get the money and change your life. Okay? That's what I want for you. And I have a lot of goodwill for all of the people that follow me. So do this. Get that case study going. Feel the confidence and know that you know stuff. You know it. You just need to pull all the knowledge together and apply it to this problem. And I'm confident it's going to change your perception altogether and help you to be more successful. All right, so guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my other videos, like and subscribe down there. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. This is Carolise. Take care. Bye-bye. daughter. Mm -hmm. And what have you been doing today? <laughs> Playing. Playing with who? My friends oh, okay. next door. What do you want to say? Mm -hmm. Our dog mm -hmm. is super crazy. Oh, by the way, come here, Jackson. Come here, boy. Come on here. Good doggy. Come here. Come here. Good doggy. Good doggy. Oh, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> say hi to everybody, baby. Say hi! Oh my god, this dog wanna lick my face all day long. And he also has a shirt on. He has a shirt that says mommy. Show everybody your shirt. Say your, mom, say your mommy's what? Your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> mommy's little dude. <laughs> mommy's little dude. That's what the shirt says. I have to cut the shirt because you're getting so so big. Anyway. He's one years old. He is one years old, and he's like a and, then, and he's a shit zoo. He's a shit zoo, yes he is. And he's, and he's Say so hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm just the cutest little dog in the whole wide world. <laughs> and and, and, and it, 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 let me go, let me go. Calm down for a minute, baby. Calm down. Calm down, Calm down and say hi to my friends. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> say hi to my friends. 
I know you want to give me some kisses. <laughs> 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 All right, say bye to everybody. Yeah, Jackson is a little crazy cutie princess. I know. He's not a princess, he's a doggy, he's a boy. Oh, he's a <laughs> doggy boy. But, yeah! but you are my princess, yes you are. <laughs> Okay, okay. Go play outside with the dog, go. No, I don't want to be the dog. Bye. Oh, that's the dog. Where's Arlie? Arlie's with Okay, go. Arlie's waiting for you. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Mom. I love you. Mwah. Mwah.